Hey, today I'm going to walk you through how to make a studio in Pickaxe. A studio is a way to collect multiple tools together into a single web page that you can then do a lot of cool stuff with. The first thing you're going to do is pick the tools you want. I'm going to do one about video editing. So I made tools like this DaVinci Resolve bot and this Adobe Premiere bot, and I basically uploaded the usual user manuals of these hard-to-use softwares and then turned them into chatbots so people could talk to them. And as you see, when I pick a tool or select it, it shows up here. Uh, just for fun, I'm also going to add one about scripts. This is one I did to uh, give you notes on your screenplays. And you can search for them. You can also scroll through them. I have way too many, so I just search. So if you like these three tools, you hit next. And then um, here you name it and give it a description. So I'm going to call this the um, Magic Video Editing Genie. And what does it do? It's a suite of tools to help with video editing and video production made by Mike. Uh, you can also hit generate to have AI write it, but I'm just going to blow through this. Then who can use this studio? You can either make it a public studio or an invite only studio. A public studio means anybody can come to it and use it um, or at least see it. Invite only means only email addresses that you have approved can then log in and use it. I'm going to make it public. And just because it's public doesn't mean we can't set up a lot of cool uh, controls uh, for it. So here we have the free guest here. This means people that anybody on the internet who gets the uh, URL of the studio can show up and can use it for free. No sign up required. Member tier are people that give you their email. And then paid tier is a paid tier. So I'm going to add a paid tier here and I'm going to kind of redo this a little bit. I want people who don't give me their email to be able to show up but and see what my tools are but not use any of them. So I'm going to give them zero uses. People that give me their email I want them to be able to use it 10 times. And then people that pay me $10 or $5 a month, I want them to be able to use it 100 times a month. And you can also come here and like kind of decide which tools they can use. You can put some behind a paywall, some not. I'm just going to put all of them on the same level. So we'll hit next. If you have multiple studios, the way I do, you will be redirected here. This is the one I just made. So let's go check it out. And then here we are on this page to basically customize your studio. This is the home page of your studio. Basically, whatever content someone clicks on will come here, whether it's a tool or whether it is sort of a, whoops, a home page like this one. Um, and there's all sorts of cool stuff we, you can do here. It's all very customizable. This supports markdown. So you see that there's like bold, there's a table, there's this, there's even YouTube videos, pictures. If you click in, you'll kind of see how to do all of that. This is how you make a table. This is how you do bold text. This is how you do a list. A YouTube video, if you just paste in the URL, it shows up there. Pictures, you can do it like this. There's a handy little uh, cheat sheet down here. So it kind of tells you how to do everything. Uh, and it's pretty easy. This is marked down a lot of places on the internet use it. So let's say I love this, even though it's pretty generic. Um, you can kind of go into here. You can add stuff to this also. So we could say, you know, you know, more info on this tool. And you can even throw a video in here so that maybe you can like make a video of you using the tool then people can watch it and use it here. You can also do folders. So let's say I wanted to, I don't know, do script tools here. These are going to be all the tools that have scripts. I'm going to take script advisor, throw them in there. You can also add more pickaxes. So let's say I'm like, okay, you know what people really need? They need this AI text processor. Boom. We're going to throw it in the script tools. And then it's there. You can rename these things if you want to, change the pictures. It's all super customizable. Then if you go over here in this uh, right-hand panel, all sorts of stuff are here. I mean, honestly, everything about this is pretty much customizable. I'm not going to go over all of it. But you can change the picture, all this sort of stuff. One thing I want to go over is the these custom error messages. So basically, here's the message someone will get when they try to use your tool, but they've run out of uses or they haven't signed up. So this just says, hey, you've run out of guest uses. You gotta upgrade your account to keep using this tool. This one says you've run out of member uses. But let's just say we go, whoops, you need to sign up to do that. And you can make this sign up now. So you can just customize pretty much everything on here. There's also layout, so we could change the button to look like this versus that, all sorts of stuff. 
You can change the, the font, the color of everything. But let's say that we liked all of this. Um, let's go into the Manage tab. This is basically a place to redo or like uh, reset some of the limits you set in the beginning. Uh, as, as your metrics start to roll in, they all appear here. As people start to use it, you can see your uh, responses here. Let's say you love this. You go up here, you can hit publish. You can add a domain if you have one. Let's just hit publish. And boom, your studio is now live. You can go here and you know grab the address and start sharing it with people. Here is what our studio looks like to end users. Wow, it's magical. Um, yeah. I hope you liked that tutorial of studios. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. This is a pretty new product, so we would love to get feedback from it. What's great, what's not. Let us know. Thanks so much.